When I first saw this quartz crystal, I thought we were looking at a, a Messina quartz, but on closer inspection, it's actually some of the older material from the so-called Orange River uh, region, Northern Cape of South Africa. A, a quartz crystal, a floater quartz crystal, with a lovely phantom inside, and then a dusting of little, probably specularite hematite blades growing inside. So I want to show you the phantom. Let's have a look, have a look through there. You'll see my finger behind there, and there's that phantom uh, uh, mirroring the, the main face. Then when we turn it over, this is pretty interesting. Have a look at this intricate crystallization running across here. A multitude of little terminations. Not 100% perfect. I think there may be a chip. Uh, uh, actually, no, not really. It's, it's almost perfect. The greyishness, the grey quartzes of the Orange River and surrounds. Exact locality, I'm not sure, but we'd be looking at between the, the, the Orange River bordering between Namibia and South Africa. I like to say we, we're talking about material from South Africa. Could must, could likely be from Namibia as well. Uh, quite a lovely, good size. Uh, must be over two inches edge to edge. Uh, and kaolin most likely causing the white inclusions and then the gray, little gray flakes inside it. If you have enough magnification, you'll find this little specular hematite blade strapped inside it. And of course, what happens, the, the uh, hematite loses some of its oxygen and turns into a girthite, formerly known as limonite or limonite, uh, uh, where in this case it's still gray, but uh, then it would go red and yellow, etc.